Wow. You know, you know something weird is Andy Samberg had a nose that looked just like that. That on. is crazy. I did see that earlier. Oh, you did? Um, okay. And he got a nose job or something. I'm just a genuine witch. <laughs> um, no, I'm going to take this off now yeah. and be a human being. Yeah, Hi. you should be a human being. Hi, how are you doing? By the way, I just want to tell you something, and I, I know this won't mean much to most everyone, but I was excited to learn that you were from Las Vegas because I am from Las Vegas. You're both from Las Vegas. And I get Las excited Vegas. when other people from Las Vegas you know, become popular, and you have well, done that. thank you. How did you do that from Las Vegas? I mean, what, how oh. did you, because most people go to Las Vegas to end their career <laughs> rather than to right. begin them. Right, right. I, I started early. I did improv at eight years old, um, which is really weird. What is an eight-year-old <laughs> improv set like? I'm like, give me a place. Uh, give me a, no. Um, no, we just, <laughs> we just played around. I mean, I had sort of a wild imagination, and I think my parents sort of wanted to get me out of the house for a bit, because I was a lot. I see. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I ended up really loving it and, and kept taking improv classes. And have you had the experience that I've had where when you grow up in Las Vegas, you don't know it's weird that you gr you're growing up in Las Vegas. Zero until idea. Until you move, and then everybody goes, you grew up in Las Vegas? Yeah. What was that like? Where, you... Which hotel did you live in? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, it was a motel. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's very odd. I mean, I always thought that uh, grocery stores had uh, slot machines in them. It's, yeah, it's true. There are slot machines in the grocery stores. Every 7-Eleven has a slot machine. Yeah, for prom, I went to Blue Man Group. Uh, you did? Yeah, I thought that was a normal thing. I'm like, dinner and a show? What show did you go to for prom? Everyone's like, what? That is the other, yeah, prom would be held. Not that I ever went, but I'm told prom. You didn't go. No. Would you, well, we don't have. It wasn't a choice. Uh, don't, oh. Don't, don't worry, I'm over it, okay? But... No, he's so cool. He's so cool, you're doing no, great. It was, no, it wasn't about being cool. It oh. was about being unattractive, but. Um, <laughs> But prom would be held at, like, Caesar's Palace yes. or something. Yes, yeah. I actually worked at Caesar's Palace. Where did you work there? I worked at this place called Banana Republic. Heard of it? Oh, yes, I have. And I was a greeter, so I would be like, welcome to Banana Republic. <laughs> In just so many different ways Yeah, all they have all this, the department stores now. We yeah. didn't have that back then, in those days. We had, oh. Did you go to buffets and stuff growing up? With oh, your yeah. Oh, yeah. My dad uh, did advertising for the Orleans Casino. Oh, that's so one of the best ones. So we would hit that up. I would just have a plate of shrimp. <laughs> just, I dated a lot. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger. You, so you would get to go to the Orleans buffet for free? Yes. Was that the thing? Yeah, yeah. My dad had a stamp. Well, everyone had a comp to everything in Las Vegas. Yeah, in those days they did. I think those that has changed now. But yeah, no, you can't get into any anything now. We went to see Siegfried and you Roy can. for free. Oh. Uh, in Las Vegas oh. when I was a kid. That was a rare moment where my dad, like, got something. Because that was the only <sighs> time we'd ever go any place. Yeah. There were some free, like, 99 cent. Anything over 99 cents in Las Vegas is, un is no, unacceptably it's... expensive. Yeah. When you started to have to pay for, a, like, parking your car, we were like, what is happening? Because everything was free. Right, valet parking is, yeah. yeah. I think they're changing that now Yeah, in Las now Vegas. they are. It's Boo. all very sad. See, <laughs> Shame on you. I know. It's not enough that you would give that money anyway <laughs> yeah. to the casino when Absolutely. you went in there. Yeah. Even the supermarkets, you have change in your hand, and then you just put it in the machine. You just play a slot. You didn't have to carry your change around like an animal. Oh. <laughs> well, this is so great. Now, you're in this big movie with all these, you know... Uh, are you, by the way, are you an impressionist? Do you do uh, impressions? Oh, I do a, a couple. Well, who do you do? I, I can do Drew Barrymore and I can do Kate McKinnon. Oh, really? So you Kate only McKinnon do two. is new. Yeah, I can, I can only do two. two. So you're not an impressionist. But Kate McKinnon is an impressionist. She is. You do an impressionist of an impressionist. Of an impressionist. That's yeah. very meta, yeah. in a way. Do a little of that. I don't know if we even really have a sense of what Kate's. Uh, well, if you see her in any interviews, she does sort of like. Um, uh, Wow. Uh, a lot of this, um, it's sort of, uh, yeah, uh, wow. And I'm so happy to be here. Uh, uh, it's Does a lot she of like that. when you do that? Is that something? I don't know. We'll you know. find out. Uh, I'm going to guess no. Maybe not. It's funny you do that because I, I think I always felt like when she was doing that, she was maybe doing an impression. Doing a character. Of that is her. Somebody we don't know. I know. Did you do you like your relatives and stuff like that growing up? Oh, my nana was pretty good. She was Romanian. And she was actually, well, 
this is her word. Uh, she said that she was the first woman to ever be behind the front desk of a Las Vegas casino. Oh, really? Yeah, what and I believe it? it was at Caesar's Palace or something. Oh, but, wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. she was. Well, there's no way to verify it. I mean, it could no, well be we, a lot. Somebody not alive. look into it. <laughs> <laughs> so she was the first woman allowed to greet people as they came in and yeah. check them in. Yeah, and she was quite a character. She was like leather pants at Christmas dinner and. Oh, really? Fake. Enhancements. Um, she would wear that to your house? Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And she'd walk behind my grandparents, my like legit grandparents that were just like older, and she'd just be like, <laughs> like making fun of them because <laughs> she was she was so cool. <laughs> Vegas is, it turns out it is a weird place to grow it up. It is yeah. a weird place. Even Nana has breast implants. I mean, it's. <laughs> she does. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. Congratulations you so on everything. The movie is called Rough Night. It opens tomorrow. Jillian Bell, everybody. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.